Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, um, this is a general reading, so it might not uh, resonate with everybody. It really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever and you would like to contact me, please do so. You can find pretty much all of my information right below into the YouTube description box. So please do check it out and uh, contact me if you wish to. It will be truly my great pleasure to assist you. Um, also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it is always and greatly appreciated. Now, Talking about appreciation, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I want to thank you for being there and for sharing and for commenting and for being a part of this channel. Thank you. It is greatly appreciated. Um, and I want to thank all of these subscribers who have donated also so generously to the channel. Um, much um, gratitude. I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. Um, so we have here messages. Messages from spirit guides. We have messages from your angels. I have two and two. Um, so I have two angels, I have two guides, and we're going to go see what exactly it is that they want to give you as a message. Um, we're going to be speaking here about how calm is not a weakness. We're going to be speaking about not relinquishing your power, about your self-worth, and about some communication. So let's start this off with the beautiful angels. Um, let's start off with your self-worth because it is just so very important. Um, your self-worth truly bestows a sense of confidence, um, an expectation of success, an ability to love. This is about deciding on clear boundaries and limits and firmly decline to let others step over them or manipulate you because you are going to earn respect. So don't let them do it. And when you value yourself, you become open, you become friendly. So, you know, slow to take offense and you become quick to forgive. This is about reminding yourself. Your angels want you to remind yourself that you are likable. You are lovable. Do not let others press your button. Stand tall and stand confident. Now, with true self-work, you radiate a golden ore, which is going to unfold others and make them feel good also. Ask your angels, please, to step into your aura and to guide you. This is about telling yourself as an affirmation that you are confident and you are worthwhile. Let's stand our ground, express the way that we want to express our feelings, our emotions, our point of views, and let's just claim that self-worth. Moving over now to a little bit of communication. Now the angels, they want to remind you that being spiritual is about being genuine and being honest. So when you speak from the heart, others, they feel the resonance of truth. They feel that trust in you. This is about talking positively. It's about focusing on the good in life and you are going to feel happier. You are going to feel healthier. So communication truly is a uh, to a process. This is about listening with interest and responding openly. This is going to improve all of the relationships that are around you. So communicate constantly with the source, with source using prayer, which is asking, and meditation, which is listening. Always keep those channels of communication open and be a bridge to others' hearts. Be that bridge to others' minds. Ask your angel to step in into your aura and to communicate in a higher way but through you. So this is about telling yourself that you communicate quite clearly and always honestly. As for your messages coming from your spirit guides, we're going to begin here with calm is not a weakness because a state of calm is not a personality flaw. On the contrary, when you feel balanced, when you feel harmonious within your soul, you attract that energy to you. Now, human society, often we kind of equate movers and shakers and type A personalities with prosperity and prestige, but at what cost to their emotional and physical health? This is about slowing down. Slow and steady wins the race, and one day at a time are the mantras of this message for you. Sometimes the pressures of life on earth, they can feel like the light of your soul is simply, sadly, 
feeling like it's extinguished. But it is your job to take care of your human vessel so that you can efficiently follow the blueprint that you have created for your life. And if you take too much onto your plate, it can cause stress. It can cause disease. So if you bring that disease to your body, your objectives here on earth, they become even more difficult to accomplish. Material wealth is never a part of a soul's blueprint. Prosperity in the form of money may certainly come to you, but for a variety of reasons. But it is never the objective. Happiness and inner peace, they are always higher priorities than a large bank account. Now you can take power, you can take or you know your money with you when you leave this physical, but you can take the gratitude, you can take the love that others have given you. And the easiest way for you, okay, to garner that affection is to project a calm and a peaceful energy to those who are around you. Meditation as a ritual or sitting in silence with your guides is always suggested and this message is in your card. So this message is there for a reason. It is there to ask you to meditate, to stay at peace, to think before acting. This is about being calm and how it is simply not a weakness. Um, moving over to don't relinquish your power. Now the message coming through here is you've created a blueprint for yourself of course. I talked about the blueprint over here and your role in this matrix of life is absolutely vital but never ever be less than who you are. Now when you receive this message you need to examine how you may be taking a back seat into the dynamics of this incarnation. It may seem like an easier row to hoe if you, you know, um, acquiesce to others, but in reality you are doing a disservice not only to yourself but to your soul family. Your influence, it matters. Your opinion, it matters. It is part of your birthright, so don't be so quick to undermine yourself and to give away the strength of your convictions. Now, the puzzle pieces that create that big picture, they don't come together as a whole if you choose not to participate. This is about having faith in yourself and know that your emotions, they are manifesting in a certain way and in a certain time for a reason, that divine timing. So many insecure, you know, many of us, when we are insecure, we try to take away the power of others to build up your own shortcomings. Be aware that this is the result of a very fragile ego. You have to acknowledge this and don't engage into any of those attempts, any of those manipulations. You need to be steadfast. You need to have that resolve. And this, my dear friends, does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that um, the angels and spirit brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you have any questions and you would like to contact me, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Um, in the meanwhile, I wish you the most beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.